Later that week, I was actually pulled into the office and I was offered a professional contract at 16 years old. Okay, so my football journey started off at my local football club called North Walsham. I think I joined North Walsham at like eight years old. Straight away, I just sort of like fell in love with the game. Well, North Walsham was a central attacking midfielder. And throughout my time there, I scored like 63 league goals and however many assists, I'm not sure, in about 40 league games. So I was only there for about two years and then I was scouted um, by Norwich and had a trial game versus the academy. So I was in a team full of trialists and I was playing against the main academy boys. I played really well and I was contacted the day after asking me to come in for a six week trial. This was towards the end of my under 11s age group. It was meant to be a six week trial um, but after just one week, they offered me a contract. I remember the exact moment of me getting offered the contract. Obviously, I thought my trial was meant to be six weeks, but he's pulled me into the change room after training, literally after just a week. And he literally sat me down and was like, do you want to be an academy player? Like, And I was just like, well, yeah, of course. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I remember just being buzzing, telling all my family, all my friends, because that bit playing for Norwich in my area was something everybody wanted to do, you know. Um, so yeah, it was it was like the first step to my dream coming true, really. My first year at Norwich, under 12s, I won Player of the Season and done very, very well. To win Player of the Season in my first season being at Norwich, I felt like I was making a good name of myself within the academy um, and proving a lot to people what I could do. So growing up, we was playing all of the biggest teams in the country, in England, in the Premier League. We usually play the southern teams a lot more, um, just because that's just how it's split um, in the academies. So I was playing teams like Tottenham, Chelsea, Arsenal. It wasn't really often that we'd play teams like Man City, Man United, um, Liverpool, because they were like more of the northern teams. Um, and it would, it would have just been hard for us to travel up there, especially especially at a younger age. So after winning player of the season at 12 years old, I was then offered a four year contract, keeping me at the club until I was 16. I later found out that Tottenham Hotspur wanted to buy me, therefore contracting me to the club until I was 16 would be the best option for Norwich. So whilst also being given a four year contract at 12 years old, I was also given the opportunity to be within the schools programme. The schools programme is where only a selected few players throughout the academy from the ages 12 to 16 would all go to school together and do a more detailed and intense training week. So we would train with the older boys, testing us against physically bigger and more experienced players. So I was only a little boy, I was only like 12 years old and I was, we would all train together. So I'll be training with 13, 14, 15, 16 year olds. So physically, I was training against more experienced, more physical, um, players. Obviously most of you guys will know Todd Campbell, he was in the schools program with me. Um, I was training with him like every day, going to school with him um, and now he's gone on to do a lot of good things for Norwich um, in the Premier League and in the Championship. Whilst we're in the schools program we'd also leave school early at lunch times a couple days out of the week to get extra training sessions in so we'd leave school at about 12 o'clock. However we had to sacrifice dropping a couple GCSEs because we wasn't at school as much time as the other normal pupils. So whilst being in the school program, I did actually have to leave my parents' house and live with a host family, even though I was only 12 years old. Norwich literally paid for everything for me, my food, my education, my housing, my travel and transport. So they was really investing money into me and some other players. So we started off at a school, which was literally only about five, 10 minutes away from the academy. Um, it was a pretty new school, they had a lot of money just put into it, like they had a brand new building, I think it cost around 25 million. But honestly, it wasn't the greatest of schools, um, it was in quite a rough area, um, it was just convenient because it was local to the training ground. I wasn't really enjoying it at all, um, it was meant to be like within the bottom 3% in the country for GCSE grades and things like that. I did put in a complaint saying that I wanted to leave, that like, this isn't where I want to be. And with that being said, they did actually make a change and they changed the school's program over to a private school called Langley. This is where I'd finish my schooling years, the last two years, year 10 and 11. Um, I actually did finish passing all of my GCSEs. It was a very, very good school, a lot of good people there. Um, and of course it was a private school, so you would expect that. And uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a really good thing that they decided to do that and that is where they have their school's program to this day. So transitioning through the years of the academy, I travelled to many countries playing abroad in tournaments like Germany, Belgium, Ireland, Holland, 
Latvia, Austria and a few more. Two of my favourite tournaments, especially of me, my performance wise. I think Ireland was probably my favourite and one of them. And um, I remember there was teams there like Northern Ireland, Wolves, Celtic um, and a few other big teams. I remember Karamoko Dembele was there, I think I've said his name right. Obviously a lot of you guys don't know who he is, he's made his debut for Celtic at like 16 years old, is it? 16, 17 years old. And I remember I, had, I was playing really, really well, I was ripping it up like insanely. Um, I had a lot of fans coming up to me saying that they think I'm going to win player of the tournament and I genuinely believed that, I thought I was going to win player of the tournament and stuff. Um, and I remember being absolutely fuming because I didn't win it and somebody else won it. Um, and I was thinking, nah man, I played better than this guy. I, I wasn't very happy but we took it on the chin. And my other favourite tournament was actually in Denmark. We beat Ajax in the final 1-0. Um, it was absolutely scenes. One of our players scored a banger in like the last 5-10 minutes of the game. Um, and, and for performance wise it was another very very good tournament for me too. So moving on the years a bit, at under 14 there was actually a game where our right back got injured and I filled in and had a very very good game. We was without a right back for the majority of the season and I, ended, and I ended up playing here for quite a few games and spent a lot of the season there. Honestly I wasn't very happy with this as I was always the creative number 10 and I liked to be that player that scored and created the goals. That was the main reason why I fell in love with football. This made me not enjoy my time at Norwich as much. The coaches liked rotating players around positions as they could see what position could suit them best. However, I feel like I had a talent that was being wasted in that position and had an impact on me going forward. I remember not being very happy and wanting to leave. Then when it was under 15s, a new coach called Gilly comes to the club. Funnily enough, he's now Ipswich Town's assistant manager, but he transitioned me back into a more attacking role as a winger. Throughout the years, he was probably one of the coaches I got on best with and understood me as a player. I really learned a lot from him and he really helped me improve. Growing up, I was a central attacking midfielder. Obviously, I went to right back and now I've transitioned more into a winger. I was very, very pacey. I still am a, quite a pacey player. Um, so probably being out on the wing and using my attacking 1v1 attributes and my pace is probably the best area for me to play in. I had another good two seasons and under 16s came around which was my final contracted year and this is when I got my first major injury. So pre-season we had a tour in Iceland that we did actually win and it was a very very good tour. However I had serious pain in my lower back. Anything I did, getting in and out of bed, passing, kicking, jumping, literally anything, just being, just, just walking around, I would get sharp shooting pains throughout my back. I then got it scanned and found out I had a stress fracture in my L5, which is the lower part of your back, meaning I'd be out injured for at least six months. This obviously frightened me, knowing that this was my last year contracted at Norwich, and I've just got a major, major injury putting me out for at least half to three quarters of the season. I didn't know what was gonna lay ahead of me. With that being said, me knowing that this was the last year of my contract, I knew I had to come back in the best shape and to hit the ground running to try and impress and do what I can in the in the last few games of the season that I'll be back for. So the next the next contract that I was working towards, the next contract that everybody was trying to earn was a football scholarship which was a two year deal being full time at the club and starting to get paid. So that was like the start of a dream to start getting paid and be a full time footballer at Norwich City who are obviously a very very highly rated club. Um, they're in the Premier League, obviously they're in the Championship right now. They hover up and down. Um, but yeah, it was like, that was something I've always wanted to do. Yeah, I knew I had to work hard and make sure I impress when I come back. It was a tricky injury. There's not much you can really do with a stress fracture in your lower back. But with that being said, I did come back and my first game was against Southampton and I played 40 minutes. When you're coming back from an injury, they ease you back in, giving you a certain amount of minutes per game. It usually goes like 40 minutes and 60 minutes then 80 minutes, just so you don't overload yourself in your first game back. I played very well and remember asking if I could still play because I felt fine, however they didn't let me. My second game back from my long term injury, we had West Ham away. We won 5-0 and I actually scored a hat-trick. I remember the hat-trick so well, I scored a free kick, I remember getting across my man in one of them from like a rebound of the keeper and I remember my third goal was like a really nice touch around the defender and the first time finish. I remember being buzzing after this game because there was an England scout watching as well 
and I remember him going over to the coaches and talking about me, so I thought maybe I might get an England call up after this performance. However, I didn't get an England call up from that performance, but later that week, I was actually pulled into the office and I was offered a professional contract at 16 years old. I didn't even have my scholarship contract yet, so I thought I was about to be offered a scholarship, but they offered me a one year professional deal straight away, meaning I'd have another three years at the club. It's usually very rare for players to be offered professional contracts at 16 years old, you still don't really see it now. So personally, this was a huge achievement to be offered a professional contract at 16. The fact that I'd been injured for half of the season, and I come back and I still done enough to impress to be offered this, um, it meant a lot. Yeah, so this meant I had another three years left at the club. I was going to be a professional getting paid full time. I ended the season strong with no injuries, my back was fine. There was only a few games left of the season. I remember scoring a last minute equaliser against Aston Villa at home to finish my season off. And I also made my under 18s debut and I was also on the bench for the under 23s only being 16 years old. So guys, I think I covered the most of my journey. Um, from under 11s to under 16s where I got offered a professional contract. If you guys want to hear my journey from under 17s to under 19s of me being a scholar and under 18, obviously being a professional footballer um, and what that sort of looked like and what that journey was like, then let me know in the comments down below. I'll do another similar sort of video. Guys, if you haven't done already, please drop a like, subscribe. I do actually vlog my footballing journey to this day so if you guys are interested in that sort of stuff then go check out my channel and if you like that sort of content then please drop a sub it would mean the world to me um we're trying to hit 50k subscribers like i always say stay positive stay grinding and i'll see you in the next one